Welcome back to my channel. This is Cheryl with I Style My Style. And today I am going to be kicking off a new series, and it's going to be a series on Christmas decorating inspiration. And I bet you're thinking, Cheryl, it's only October. Yes, it is only October. However, if you're like me, you like to plan things in advance so you have time to go out shopping, whether it be at Walmart, at the at-home store, Home Goods, Marshalls, TJ Maxx, wherever you like to shop for your Christmas decor so you can get some holiday decorating inspiration. So today's video, we are gonna be talking about my inspiration for the holiday, my colors, the, the themes, that I'm going to do in my home this year. And so I thought I would share all of that with you as well as the perfect holiday gift for that special grandchild or child in your life, especially if they are afraid of the dark. And guys, you are gonna be blown away by this item. I absolutely love it. However, we're gonna talk about that a little bit later, but for now, I'm gonna take you along with me as we go to Walmart to see what holiday decorations they have in store that will inspire us and our holiday decorating. Now, I already have my theme. I hope you guys will love the theme and the direction I am going with this year. It is totally something different. You guys know normally I decorate using black and white and I decorate in a very modern and elegant style, I would say. But this year's Christmas decor theme is going to be all about the grandbabies. So, yeah, I cannot wait to share with you my theme, my thoughts, how we're going to put it all together. And like I said, it's a series. So no more rambling. Let's go to Walmart to see what they have new in stores. As you can see, Walmart is just now putting out their Christmas decor, but they did have a lot of nice things 
And I did pick up a few things, even though I said I was not gonna buy anything this year, but I did pick up a few things to go along with my holiday theme. So this year, my theme is going to be like a, how should I put it? It's going to be like a Christmas, I don't know how to put it. My holiday theme this year is going to be featuring like a Candyland type theme. Um, and as I said, it's all for my grandchildren, but I'm also going to be using red and white as my major colors for Christmas this year. And I know you guys are thinking, oh my gosh, red and white, Cheryl, that's totally not your, your color scheme. I know. However, I did decorate using red a few years ago, so I have some red holiday decor. So it won't be much of a stretch for me to create this winter wonderland or Christmas candyland type theme. And last year at the end of the season, I knew what my theme was gonna be. So when those items or those types of items went on sale and on clearance, I picked them up. So I'll be sharing with you a little later some of those items that I picked up. As I said, this is a Christmas decorating inspiration series. And today we're gonna to be focusing just on items that you can buy at an affordable price at Walmart. We will go thrifting for some Christmas decor items as well to go along with our theme. But today I wanted to show you some items that I picked up from Walmart. But before I do, let me show you the perfect gift for your grandchild, your child, that special person in your life who loves space, guys, or space like in the universe, <laughs> space. They are going to love this item. So today's video is sponsored by Loft Tech, and I want to thank Loft Tech for sponsoring this portion of today's video. Now let me show you the perfect holiday gift. We are going to be reviewing this Loft Tech Aura Starry Sky Projector. So if you are like me, um, you may have grandchildren. I have four grandchildren. They are... One will be 10, one seven, going on eight. And I have two um, just a few months apart that will be four. And if your grandchildren are like mine, sometimes they get scared at night. So my daughter is homeschooling her children and they're learning about the galaxy right now. So when Loft Tech reached out to me about their or a starry sky projector. I thought this would be a great fit. Again, something a little different on my channel, but if you have grandchildren or if you have young children who are afraid of the dark, I think this would be a perfect gift for them. So I picked up this um, Loft Tech Starry projector, again, for my grandchildren. It comes packaged really, really well. And it has a notice to ensure the battery life. Please fully charge the product four hours before using it for the first time. Do not look directly at the light when using, uh, do not look directly at the light or laser when using the product to avoid eye discomfort. So. If you have young children, you'll want to make sure you reiterate that to them. But I think my grandchildren are old enough, or at least I hope they are old enough that they would not stare straight into the light. But anyway, the, the product comes with this guide and it has a little remote controller. And as you can see, it has lots of little light color combinations. So let's go ahead and open this up. This also reminds me, I don't know, of the Starship Enterprise because of the shape of it. Look at this, so cute. And it looks like this. And also my grandchildren are into Star Wars and they have been enjoying watching it on Disney Plus. So again, I thought this would be a great gift idea to give to them and it can serve as a nightlight 
so they won't be so scared at night. But it comes with this little base, very sleek, and it sits here. This is the actual projector itself. Again, it reminds me of a spaceship, so I think my grandchildren will love this, especially my little grandson, SJ. But it sits right in here, just like this. So sleek, so modern. So now we're gonna let the battery charge and then we'll come back and we'll check out the light display. All right, so it comes with this charger cable and I'm just gonna use this adapter that I have for my Simply Safe. And then we are going to just stick it in here on the back and we are going to let it charge up. So it recommends that it charge for at least four hours. So we're gonna do that and then we'll come back and check out the light show. So this is how the nebula is looking on the ceiling and you can choose from several different colors. Right now we are on blue, but you could change it to pink, orange, yellow and as you can see there is a rotation that you can see so I know my little grandchildren are gonna absolutely love this and I know my little grandbabies will as well so if you have grandchildren as I said or children who are scared at night and you need a night light this would be a great night light. Or if you have children or grandchildren who are obsessed with Star Wars, Star Trek, the galaxy in general, I think this is a great little projector for them to have in their room, for them to just stare up at at night and just dream to their heart's content. And this is how our nebula looks at night standing in my kitchen and I know my little grandchildren are gonna absolutely love this they can look up at it at night and dream to their little hearts content and you can see the stars are rotating as well as the nebula so so nice so this is the blue color and you can change the color here's the pink color no color and then we have orange and yellow kids will absolutely love this and you can dim the color but I prefer this blue color so I want to thank Loft Tech for sponsoring today's video I will leave a link for the light projector in the description box down below make sure you go check it out if you have children grandchildren who are afraid of the dark this would be the perfect night light as I said, as I said, I know my grandchildren are going to absolutely love this. So now <laughs> I'm going to have to get another one because my little grandson Xavier is going to say, oh, Mimi, that's so cool. That's so cool, Mimi. So now I have to get him one because I know he will absolutely love it. All right, guys, isn't this light projector so cool? My little grandchildren are fighting over it already. So I need to go ahead and get another one, but they absolutely love it. My daughters love it. They were like, I want one of those. I want one of those for myself. So this is a great gift idea. It's very affordable. I will leave a link in the description box down below for the product as well as a coupon code. So you can go get 12% off of the item. It is a perfect holiday gift. You can't go wrong. So make sure Sure you grab one for that special someone in your life now let me show you what I picked up to go along with my holiday theme this year from Walmart 
as I said, I will be decorating using black and white or black and white. <laughs> no, that's what I normally decorate with, but no, this year it's gonna be red and white. I will have some black though. Don't get me wrong. Black will always be featured in anything that I decorate, but it's primarily gonna be red and white. But as such, I found these cute, fun little picks. Look how cute these are. So I picked these up from Walmart and they were a great price. These were $1.98, if you could see that. And I thought this would be perfect to put in a tree. And for $2, you can't really go wrong for $2. So I will also be doing a lot of DIYs for my holiday theme this year. And when I saw this, I thought, hmm, I could probably DIY this, but why spend the time and effort when this only costs $2? So I thought this was a great deal. I picked it up and I picked up six of these to go along with my Candyland holiday theme for this year. Also to go along with that, I saw these, again, I was thinking, hmm, I could probably make those, but again, why should I win? I found these, these are so, so cute. I don't wanna take them out of the package this yet, but they are red and white, and they cost $7.98. There are eight in here, so it only cost us $1. Very cost-effective, very affordable, so there was no need to DIY this, as it would probably cost me more to do that. But I absolutely love these. They end up being a dollar a piece. You cannot go wrong, that's less than what you would buy something from the Dollar Tree for. So in my book, these were a perfect buy and I had to pick them up. And again, they will go perfect with my Candyland theme. And the next item that I picked up, um, my tree is also going to be red and white with some black sprinkled in. And so I saw these really pretty red poinsettias. Is it poinsettia or poinsettias? Leave me a comment down below. I say poinsettia. So, but I found these. Look how pretty these are. They sort of have like a velvety sheen to them. Absolutely so, so pretty. So I thought these would be perfect on my tree. Now, last year's Christmas tree, I had six Christmas trees, I think. I might have six Christmas trees this year. Um, but the primary theme for the living room area is going to be a candy land, like a peppermint theme with white and red with also some blacks mixed in. But I do have a black Christmas tree. And last year I decorated it in a black frost. It was a lamb tree filled with frosted jewels. It was so, so pretty. If you missed that video, I will leave that linked in the description box down below, as well as in the iCards above if you want to go check it out. But I thought these would probably be really, really pretty on that black tree as well. So I'm thinking about doing that. So we shall see. But also I did a black and white tree upstairs in my loft and we created some DIY poinsettias that cost us way less than if we had picked them up from Walmart. So I did see some red and white felt poinsettias from Walmart that I would so love to put on my Candyland themed tree this year. However, they were $3.98 a piece, way too expensive for my blood. So of course, what did your girl do? She picked up some red felt, yada, 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 39 cents. And we are going to do our own DIY felt um, poinsettias. I picked up the white, um, what do you call those? piping, pipe stems, Chanel stems. I picked up some white Chanel stems from the Dollar Tree. So we are going to make our own and I know we can do it because we did it last year. So again, a very, a very affordable option and I will take you along as I create these. It'll be very simple, same as the ones we created last year. These are just gonna be white and red. So I picked those up and of course, you know, I have to, throw in a little bit of elegance in somewhere. So I have these roses and I, I picked these up last year from Amazon and just look how pretty these are. And I thought these would be so, so perfect 
in my red and white theme for this year. So primarily again, Candyland in the living room area, and then an elegant red and white in my law in my lounge area. And then in my loft upstairs, I am going to do my black frost Christmas tree with the red poinsettias. Oh, it's gonna look so, so pretty. So leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you think so far of my winter candy land theme for Christmas this year. And let me know, do you have your decor theme picked out or are you still looking for inspiration? If so, and you have enjoyed today's video, please make sure you give it a thumbs up, like, comment, share, and subscribe. Make sure you hit that notification bell so you know every time I upload a video. So I will be updating a new Christmas decor inspiration video every Friday through probably, hmm, probably the end of November because then I will start putting everything together and I might start putting it together before that. So let's make sure you subscribe. You don't want to miss the decorating inspiration. I'm so excited. And I know my little grandchildren will love coming to Mimi's house this year for Christmas. So again, if you have not yet subscribed, please hit the subscribe button, tap the notification bell. And again, thank you Loft Tech for sponsoring today's video. I will leave their link down below and I hope to see you in the next one.